Hey guys, what is up the new cubist here? Welcome to episode 96 of my Minecraft survival let's play. It's hard to believe we're already on episode 96, but I am very happy that we've made it so far in this series. I have a ton of stuff planned for this weekend. Unfortunately, I didn't upload on Thursday, so I am sorry about that, but I will be uploading on Monday um, to make up for that. So it'll be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So be on the lookout for that. Make sure post notifications are on so you don't miss any videos. Uh, but let's jump right in. So people keep telling me, Neo, you need to put minecart under here with the track. I really do agree. I know that that would fix the problem. But to be honest with you, it's not a whole ton of sugarcane that we actually lose from this. Uh, I say that and there's 11 down here. Uh, but if we go and look in the chest, I think there's a pretty healthy amount that actually makes it out. Um, if I notice that it's not really getting that much very quickly, we'll, we'll change it. I don't have a problem changing it. But I think, to, honestly, that it's not really going to be that big of a determinant if we're going to get enough. I think it should work fine like that. Um, but what I wanted to work on is getting enchanting. People keep telling me, Neo, you're on episode 96. You don't have enchanted tools. Uh, that is true for this part of the world. I don't have any on this part of the world. Um, you can see our cows are doing quite nicely. There is, you know, a, a, a large amount of cows. Like a very, very large amount of cows. Um, I just read a comment that suggested I take out this little part right here. Um, and I just make a flat area for the cows to hang out in. And I am in full agreement with that. I think that's the best solution because right now the cows literally just stick in the same spot and they do not move. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out this little area right here and then we're going to extend the cave back a little bit in that direction. And uh, we're going to keep the, the cows on a flat surface. I really do feel like that's going to fix the entire problem. I think the problem was that they see this as a cave and they want to find the exit, which makes sense. You know, if you were a cow and you were stuck in a cave, you'd probably want to find the exit too. So... I, I don't blame them. No hate on the cows, but we've got to fix their behavior by uh, disallowing it. So we're just going to essentially make an entire flat room down here um, that they can hang out in because, well, honestly, what they're doing right now just flat doesn't work. And there's no point um, in me keeping it if it doesn't work. Uh, the cow cave was a failure. Uh, just like the sugarcane farm, but that's okay. It's not really that big of a failure. Uh, but it still is technically a failure. I'm just jumping right into it. We're just, we're just jumping straight in to, into the project. I also want to build a skeleton spawner on tomorrow's episode. Um, that will be very helpful for getting bone meal for our flower farm, which we'll be building hopefully this weekend too. So a ton of cool projects, a flower farm, a skeleton spawner. There's going to be a ton of really cool projects. And we're also going to start enchanting as well. Did I not? Oh, okay. I think I remember doing that, but... I, I, I honestly I don't I didn't want I didn't want to remember that I did that because now it's gonna bother me but it's okay um, so we've got to get our cows down here at some point um, some of this ceiling down here is a little bit too low and I'll I'll fix all this a little bit I'll dig this off camera a little bit because not gonna be the most exciting thing I've ever done but it really is very necessary if we want to make this work uh, because right now it just it just doesn't work I mean like like they literally just sit all up there and there's no point. So what I think I'm going to do, now I don't know if this will work, I don't know if the cows are smarter than me, um, actually this could be a pain, I don't want to bring them down here yet because if I do then there's no going back, um, they're just, well, there's no going back in terms of, you know, them not being down here, because if I try to dig this out and they're down here, uh, it could prove to be quite, quite troublesome, so we're just going to, we're just going to do this by hand, and uh, we're just going to kind of dig this back a little bit, and when I'm happy with it, I'll come back and show you the results. Alright, well I think I've dug a pretty good area out. They don't need like a giant, giant area. Uh, just just something bigger than what was down here before is perfectly fine with me. So now all I've got to do is grab a little bit of uh, what you might call it, grass. And then we're going to come down here and plant that, or dirt I guess. We're not going to bring grass. Uh, we'll just we'll, we'll bring a little bit of dirt down here and we'll fix it up. It's going to look really nice. Um, I'm excited that the cows will... Oh man. Well it looks like there is the, there's the actual cow cave area. Okay, well we'll just we'll just end it right there. How about that? We'll just we'll just pretend that that that, that wasn't broken. Uh, we'll we'll put some iron ore there to make it look natural, and uh, we'll call it a day. There is a bug flying around my head. I'm not sure what it is, but I don't like. It. Oh oh no. Okay, so we can't extend it anymore. There's it's just not possible. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fill in and look at all these spiders. Right? You know what's cool about this? Look, I built a doorway so we could come in here and we can whack them whenever we want. If we want to have like a spider fight, we can come in here and just fight spiders. Oh my god, there's so many up there. Oh my god. I really hope they don't kill me, but that's okay. Uh, but we'll go get dirt in a second. We'll fill that in, and then we'll grab one piece of wheat, and we'll lead them all down into that area. I hope they'll go down a two-block little gap. Um, but hopefully, 
when they detect that there's no way that they can get up because there is no way that they can get up I need to bring some ladders down here as well um, I gotta remember a bunch of stuff so I need ladders because right now I mean look at this this is just ridiculous <laughs> try to work with these trying to work with these guys it just doesn't it just doesn't work right you know it, it really doesn't so what we're gonna do is uh, let's go grab some ladders uh, namely before we forget that because that's gonna be one of the most important thing okay we got some ladders and we need some dirt where is the dirt? Uh, we have one piece of grass, but we already have grass seeded in down there. Do I not have any dirt? Do I need to go dirt mining? Okay, well, we have that much dirt. I feel like we have dirt in one of these chests. In fact, I'm almost certain, um, since we have so many chests now, I think I might have... It, it might be stashed somewhere just really weird. I think there's a couple of chests in here. There's another piece of grass. There we go. A little bit of dirt, and then I think that's all we'll need. Okay, well, um, let me get started on putting the dirt down, and then once I'm done with that, I will come back and show you the results. I knew I'd forgotten one thing. I didn't bring any lanterns down here, and I think that's exactly what we need. Um, we have four lanterns, because I'm not using any torches in here, fortunately, because torches just look... I don't know. They don't look good, you know, when you have, like, a big fancy area. I feel like torches just kind of detract from it. I think that it might actually be more than enough. Um, we'll, we'll remove stuff here periodically and we'll, we'll do little checks and balances, make sure everything's good. What is this bug that's flying around? It's on my nose. It's like a little tiny black bug. I don't think it, maybe it's a gnat? I have no idea. It's just, it's like a little tiny, tiny bug just flying around. Uh, but yeah, it's not going to take too long to drill out all this. It's just going to take a while for the grass to actually grow. Um, and I don't know if I've decided I want to put dirt under these areas or not. Um, but to get up and down from this area, literally all I'm going to do is place a ladder. Uh, that will be the simplest and best solution. And it, it did look like one cow just jumped down here. I, I don't really know what he's doing, but he decided to join the party early. He's like, he knows what's going to happen. He knows it's coming. And he just wanted to not delay the inevitable. Smart man. All right, well, there's the last of the stone broken. Let's just grab our dirt here and fill her in. And now hopefully once this is all filled in um, and we get the cows down here, they will not try to escape because there's no... You know what I mean? Like, like they're trying to go to the highest point in the cave because they're trying to find, you know, their way out of the cave. But this shouldn't register, you know, as a cave with them. I don't know where they would sit because at no point in here does their AI detect there's an exit. So hopefully this works. If it doesn't work, that's okay. But we need to focus on breeding them. I probably should have bred them before I started this project. But you know what? Hindsight's 2020, and I, I, I didn't think about that until just now. So we're not going to worry about it. Um, I'm going to break all this stone. I lied. I guess we do need to break a little bit more. Just so that when we fill this in, I feel like it's going to have a better effect. Uh, if the dirt, you know, looks like it continues downwards from the grass. Like that. There we go. And then all we have to do is just, play, just place a ladder like that. The cows cannot jump, so they cannot see that. They, they don't detect that as an exit in any way. Um... We're going to place a few bamboo, I guess. It doesn't really matter. The bamboo is not, like, vitally important. We're going to do a bamboo farm um, and then hopefully a kelp farm at some point, too. So I'm super excited about those. We'll put we'll, we'll put one piece in the middle, and then we're going to just call it good. So we're going to go up here. We're going to we're gonna test this. We're going to test this out. We're going to see how it works. Um, I have a low confidence that this will work exactly how we're wanting it to work. Um, but you know what? That low confidence is bolstered by the fact that science is behind us here, potentially. Uh, let's see if we can science our way into this chest. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So we just need we just need some wheat and we're just going to we're gonna put it in our hand. Okay. Do they do they see it? Oh, <laughs> it took a second to the game to be like, oh yeah. Okay, and then we're just gonna Yeah, so they, they don't they really don't care that there is a gap down here. So now okay, we've got those cows down there. Now we're gonna go up here. For some reason, it didn't hook on to these guys. All right, come on. You guys detect me? Okay, good. I don't know if we've. I don't know if this is enough cows to kill and get enough stuff or not. I genuinely have no idea. Okay, guys, come on, but be safe. Be safe. Don't don't fall too far. Okay. So we're just a few stragglers that apparently are just like you know what? I don't listen to the system. The system tells me to follow the wheat, and I don't listen. Is that why are they turning around? Okay. Oh man, <laughs> they see all these cows down here. They're like, wait, wait, wait. I know what's happening, and I'm not, I'm not falling for it. Okay, so let's see if these cows stop crowding. I don't know what they're doing. I think they're just kind of settling in there. Now these guys, y you all can stay up here. There's, there's not very many of you. That's right, all of you. Um, there's only one pig because I guess the other pig drowned itself. There's only one sheep because the other sheep drowned itself in my waterfalls that I had made. So unfortunately, that's how that goes. Um. 
I don't really I don't really think they're doing anything weird. We'll, we'll come back down here periodically and check on them. Um, I'm gonna go through like a few more rounds of breeding them and stuff, so we'll just do a little bit of maintenance on the farms while we wait. Uh, but again, like I said, we're only gonna go through like probably a few more waves of breeding them because we're not gonna need that many more cows, I don't think. Um, and we'll always keep at least two so that we can always keep our cows going because um, they're a great source of food. And I am so tired. I am so tired of hearing your your weird noises. Can you can you stop? I should put some redstone lights in here and a lever so I can turn on and off the spawning because all I hear is a. <laughs> Every two seconds of these spiders, they're like, you want to hear my noise? I'm like, no, no, I don't. It's also probably kind of dumb to put a fence gate there, but you know what? It, it's whatever. We can always change that in the future. I'm more so happy that the cows don't stick in one spot now. They, they're they kind of, well, they're following me because I got the wheat, uh, but eventually they won't. Okay. So we'll go back down there at some point. And I did make some golden carrots last episode. If you missed last weekend's episodes, you should, you should go check them out. A lot of cool stuff happened. Uh, built a fully, fully auto sugarcane farm, which you know isn't like the best sugarcane farm in the world, but you know what? I'm proud of it because I made it myself, and it's pretty, it's pretty snazzy looking. Um, one thing I'm gonna do, um, because I don't think we planted the. Oh man, oh man. See, another Enderman got in here. See, I'm, I'm beginning to not like this wheat farm because Endermen oftentimes get inside of it and just completely ruin it, which it. You know, it, it is a downside to having a farm underground, I guess, because Enderman, and if you light up all the, I don't know, it just, it does kind of suck. But we got 40 bone meal from all the excess seeds from last harvest, and we still have so many seeds in here. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab that cobblestone. I'm going to make a hole here, and we're just going to throw this cobblestone into the hole so I can hold more seeds. Um, I don't need bamboo. I don't, well, I'll keep the sugar cane. I don't need three spider eyes. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. I know it seems kind of wasteful, but at the same time, I really want to be able to hold all the seeds in my inventory because otherwise, uh, I can't replant the farm. I think that's enough to replant it. We'll just we'll, we'll literally grab all of them, um, and if that's not enough to replant, then I don't know what is. But first, we got to go in here, and we got to till the specific spots in the farm back. It really sucks when you have all the wheat grown and they come in there and destroy like that much of your wheat that you just spent you know forever trying to get grown. I don't know. It just kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's whatever. So let me fill in. I'm going to go around this, and I'll show you what the finished product look like, looks like. I think you guys have a pretty good idea of what it looks like. Um, it really is one of the coolest automatic farms I've ever built. Out of all the ones I've built thus far underground, this one's still my favorite. So let me get to it, and I will be just back in a second. It does take a pretty ginormous amount of seeds to fill this, to fill this thing in. Um, and it does make it take longer when, you know, every few steps you got to... Well, not every few steps. I may be exaggerating, but sometimes I've come in here and, like, literally about half of the, the tiles in here are just completely reset to either dirt or grass. Because some of them, they, they think they're wise and they'll bring a block of grass down and it'll start spreading the grass to all the pieces of dirt that got uh, detilled, untilled, unsettled, I don't know. But, I don't know, it's just weird that the Endermen keep going in here. There's not very many dark spaces around here for them to spawn in, so... I, I guess they spawn somewhere around here in some unknown dark area and then they come into this room because it's like the biggest open area underground. I really don't know the exact reasoning behind it, but it's weird that they always end up in here. Um, and I guess it's more than three blocks tall and they really like three block tall areas and there's, I guess, not as many in caves or something. I don't know. But either way, we get a lot of extra seeds. The reason I was doing this was because I really want to take these seeds and you know what I want to do? I want to breed the chickens because we're not very getting very many eggs. I don't really necessarily care about the chickens that much um, as far as growing them. We don't really, I mean, the feathers are nice if we ever get into getting some bows or some crossbows going. Uh, but other than that, yeah, we're pretty much done with this. Let's just finish it off strong here. I know I missed a seed. I'll n I, I don't think I've missed any thus far. I usually do it backwards. I find that's the easiest way I can hold my mouse down and just kind of walk. And the seeds get placed pretty quickly. So it seems to work kind of okay. Especially once you get to these smaller areas, you can do like two at a time too. You don't have to like do it all weird and do one at a time like me. But um, I guess the way I'm doing it, it ensures we don't miss any spots, which is good. Um, okay, so this is all filled in. I think you guys know how it looks. We're not going to... I'm just kidding. I'll turn around. It looks really cool. Like it really is. It's, it's awesome to make this farm. Um, it was awesome to make it. And then it was also awesome to finally see what the results were once we were done. Um, so let's go and breed the chickens. Yes, you guys are so good. Are there any more? I think there's only three. Unless one went down here. No, we only have sheep down here. Only one sheep. 
But yeah, all the grass is spreading, which is good. I'm happy that we extended the cow cave, and it looks like they're not, like, floating towards one area. They're just kind of walking. I don't know what's going on there, but sometimes the cows just do that. Um, they seem to just be kind of congregating wherever, which is good. I'm very, very happy that they're not just sticking to one spot. Um, it looks like maybe they're going towards the walls some. I don't know what these cows are doing. I, I don't know, but they were doing it over there, and now they're, now they're, see, now they're moving over here. I don't know. Cows are weird. We're just not going to question their behaviors, uh, but we'll put a few, we'll put a few seeds in here, you know, just, just to breed the good, good, good little chickens. We'll just, we'll just put them in there, and we can make a full stack. But all the extra materials that I've been getting from the farm, I come down in here and I made an automatic composter. I also, it's on the list of, I have like a huge list on my phone of ideas. Like this underground part, and even when we go back above ground, I have so many ideas to go through. Um, and it really is exciting having a big list. It keeps me motivated. Um, and it also makes sure that content keeps coming out that has a goal instead of me just playing the game. Now we're going to keep the wheat for now. I don't really see the point in putting it in the composter. We'll just put it in that chest in there, the breeding chest or whatever. And uh, we'll just leave it in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to wait for the cows to grow because we can't really do a whole ton. Actually, that's a lie. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start building the enchantment area because, well, we need an area to enchant things, right? Um, and I have, I've been having a lot of, you know, fight, not fights in my head. Um, conflicting ideas in my head about how to do this because... Oh, we don't have any obsidian? We don't have any obsidian. Okay, well, we'll go get some obsidian and talk about it. So what I'm going to do is, I think, make... I don't know. I just want to make kind of a standard enchanting room, but I don't at the same time. I guess that doesn't really make any sense. Is there not is there not any caves down here? No? Okay. <laughs> I thought there was. Uh, we're going to be making this tunnel go all the way to the skeleton spawner when we make the skelly spawner. That way we have a way to get there. And then I also plan on putting a rail cart down here, which won't be very hard. It's just in a straight line, um, which will allow us to get quickly to our skeleton spawner, which we will build very soon. Oh, well, there's some obsidian. I think that's what I was thinking of. And I do have a bucket of water, which is actually very, very helpful. So let me collect four pieces of this, and then I will be right back. All right, and then there's the fourth piece coming out right now. All right, so I hope that's four pieces. I don't know. Okay. It is exactly four. I think we need four. I'm, I'm thinking about the recipe in my head, and I'm almost certain we only need four. But yeah, the skeleton spawner will be accessible through this tunnel down in here, our mining tunnel, whatever you want to call it. I love I love that, that little window I built. I think it looks really cool. Uh, but the enchantment room, I think it's going to go up here. You can see it's daytime with our brand new skylight. If you missed that, that's okay. We just built a, we built a whole second floor up here. It looks really nice. Uh, we don't even have the book. or the, I think we have a little bit of leather. Maybe, maybe a little bit. No, we don't have any leather. Um, we also have all of our sugar cane is, is just kind of thrown just, just awry in here. So we're going to move it all into one spot. No point in having the sugar cane all spread out. We may already have enough sugar cane. Um, we do have bee spawn eggs and we still have villagers. But Pukey asked me, how do you get the village to spawn eggs? I think I've explained it like seven times now. Okay. So in my, in my normal survival world, which is up there. I have all these things, and but but I just don't have them in spawn egg form. So I gave myself these, because I have many villages surrounding my house, and I have, believe you me, I have a lot of bees. Once we go back up, it'll all make sense. You'll see how many bees I have, and you'll be like, "That's an unhealthy amount of bees." And I'll be like, "Yes, yes, it is." Okay, so we have 24 diamonds. We have the obsidian, which is good. We can uh, make the enchantment table with that. We can make the bookcases. So now that all that's left to do, let me throw the sugar cane into here. By the way, how much do we get? So we're actually getting a pretty good amount. I'm just going to throw this in here. It'll kind of skew, make it look like we're getting more than we are, but that's okay. Um, eventually, I'm going to make my own underground village down here too, so we can trade that sugar cane for emeralds, and then hopefully trade those emeralds for something good. Man, there's a lot of stuff in here, including 64 sugar cane. Nice. We'll move this chest at some point. I just don't I don't want to move it. <laughs> it's too much of a pain to move. We're, just, we're, we're not going to move it. I was hoping to catch one of these pistons doing its job and working, but... It doesn't look like any of them are going to fire. Hmm. We'll, we'll wait another five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, nothing happened. That's okay. We'll come back and we'll show, show it working. Um, so we come up these stairs, and it would be nice just to come like right here, just turn and go in. So we're just going to build it like literally right here. So what I've decided is whenever I modify one of these, all I'm going to do is uh, just kind of change this a little bit. Where'd the other log go? Um, and then we can just kind of build our doorways like that. And obviously that support shouldn't really be there. Um, 
we'll just kind of we'll, we'll, we'll kind of take it take it by ear it just kind of depends on what we're doing so we need this to be like an uneven sized room mm-hmm we need it to be an uneven sized room so I need to follow with that we're gonna keep that wall there and we're gonna keep the stair we're gonna pretend I just said nothing about that <laughs> we're just gonna remove this area so what I mean is that since an enchantment table obviously is like this and then you have you know the bookshelves around it uh, we need this to be an uneven sized room because I want to be able to walk all the way around the book. I'm not going to make it like a super compact one. I want it to look fancy. Uh, but to make it look fancy, we've got to dig quite a room out. So let me get to digging. And uh, when I am done, I will come back and show you the room I have dug out. Okay, well, I was digging out this room. And uh, it appears as though I've run into a cave. Um, and I, what cave this is, I have no idea. Uh, but unfortunately... Yeah, I have no idea what cave this is, so, well, looks like there was an enderman in here at some point. Looks like we ran through here pretty quickly. We didn't gather any resources. Uh, well, okay, whatever. It's okay. We're going to encounter these caves. There's a ton of caves in here. I just got tired of hearing mobs in, and I'd go and dig in them, and I would just throw the torches down like that. So I'm pretty sure it's what happened here. Uh, but we'll just, we'll just kind of, kind of ignore it, I guess, and we'll just keep on digging. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Alright, well, we're already far enough in the video. For those of you who don't like seeing all the boring parts, you probably, the, the people who are still left, thank you for watching. And I'm sure a lot of you are the people who just watch me no matter what, so I'll just talk. So what I'm going to be doing, again, is we're going to put the enchantment table in the middle of this room. It'll look good. Um, I also really want to start getting some other tree types growing, because I was thinking I want to do the materials in here a little bit different than what we've done uh, for other rooms, so I guess I'll just I'll probably take some stone brick or something like that, which I should probably get that smelting. Um, if if that's indeed what I'm gonna do, I should probably grab some stone. Uh, oh, okay, we already have a lot made. Never mind. I, I I jumped the gun on that one. I did not realize we had massive amounts already made. Nice. That's actually a very good thing. I was worried that we weren't gonna be able to do this because we weren't gonna have enough. Uh, materials, but that's actually more than perfect. Okay, and we're gonna have to make another diamond pickaxe. I know a lot of you guys don't want to see that. Um, you don't want to see me waste all these, di or not waste them, but this is gonna be the first thing we enchant. We have 35 levels, so we'll be able to enchant this, hopefully, and uh, get something good on it. Um, so I'm not gonna be using this just yet. I'm gonna keep it in my inventory, though. We'll just use an iron pickaxe for now. It's really not a big deal if we use iron. Um, it is slow, and it kind of sucks to use after being, you know, having used diamond for so long, but you know what? That's just the name of the game, guys. Just the name of the game. So let's put the iron back. Let's put the iron ore back. What is down in here? Have we smelted? I think there was glass. Okay. There's gold. And that's it. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of weird things in my house that I've just left there for, for like 10 episodes now. And I just don't touch them. Not because I don't want to, but it's just I just forget. Okay. So this room's almost dug out, and then what we're going to do is, I guess, a floor material in here. We can just use oak wood is fine, and we could use oak wood for the ceiling, too. I just really didn't want to go with the same wall material I've been using, like either cobblestone or oak wood. Uh, there's been, like, no variety in my build underground so far, uh, which is unacceptable. I'm at a point now, you know, where I have a lot of materials, so I should be using the fancy ones, right? You'd think so. Okay, so I'll put the stone brick right here, and uh, ob obviously on this wall, too. Um, the enchantment table is going to go, like, right, I think here is the very center. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. Yes. So I was just kind of one, two, three, four. Just to make sure this thing is in the center. It looks like it is. So that's going to be where we put uh, the enchantment table. And what I'm going to do now between when you see me again is just put a bunch of stone brick in here. And then I'm going to put oak wood on the floor and on the ceiling. Uh, which I don't know if we actually have any more wood. Let's check. I think I collected some recently, but I, I could be completely wrong. Yeah, we don't. I don't know if we have enough at all. Hmm. We do have slabs, so we can use those actually, and that'll work just fine. Because uh, I kind of want to make the. Hmm, I'm taking a bunch of stuff because I'm getting some ideas in my head. Um, I kind of want to make the the floor recessed in the middle and have like maybe the enchantment no i don't know if that's gonna work i don't know we'll fi I'll, I'll figure it out and but yeah let me finish doing all this and when i'm done i'll come back and show you all right i don't think i've missed anything uh it, it, and if i have i'm sorry but you know what that's okay we're, we're probably gonna miss a few things here and there all right so what we're gonna do now is i'm gonna add a little bit of lighting in here and i want to make it fancy that's why i sort of left this as a blank space because i'm not exactly sure uh how we want to do this lighting but i do know that i'm gonna need to make in a 
and and crafting table. <laughs> We're gonna need to make at least a, a one crafting table. Maybe a few, maybe not. Uh, but we definitely just need one. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to make some like little lights in the wall. I'm not really sure how they're going to be. I'm just kind of playing with ideas in my head. Um, and I don't really know exactly how they're going to turn out. But you know what? Maybe they'll turn out good. Uh, maybe they won't. Who knows? That's the fun part about Minecraft. You could do whatever you want. And if it looks bad, you can just change it because it's just a bunch of blocks. And it's like not hard to change. Um, so let's put... We'll put some... Stone brick behind there, and I think what I'm going to do is just set some lanterns down on top of that. So I did bring the lanterns with me, good. And then we'll just do like this, something like that. And it looks really good and texturous on the walls. So now I just have to remember that exact pattern. Uh, it was pretty simple, it wasn't really that hard. It's going to have to be cut a little bit short. As you can see right here, I made a little glass area of display. Um, and the only reason I built that was just so that you could see the cave and I think it looks kind of nice I know I'm talking about it, but I won't show you um, I don't know. It's kind of a nice little touch and I, it doesn't really harm the build at all only only kind of helps it I think that makes it look really good. Okay, cool And then we're probably gonna need to make a few more just for the other walls and then we should be good um, Like right here. We can kind of do the same thing I uh, can have upside down stair I guess and then we can just kind of fill this in it doesn't matter if it's slabs or whatever and we'll put it down right there, and then we'll do the same thing over here. And, uh, yeah, should look pretty good. And then after this, I'm going to go check on the cows. We'll breed them once again, and hopefully they're ready. Um, hopefully they're ready to be bred again, and then we'll be able to just make the enchantment table. Because I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll go and kill them after this one, and uh, we'll see we'll see if we have enough or not. And it always pains me to, to take out all these cows when we've, been, when we've been breeding them for so long. But you know what? That's... That's the cycle of life. I, I need their leather so I can make my tools give me more goodies. <laughs> oh, it's kind of messed up, but you know what? It's okay. Just the way of the world, I guess. Then we can break all these. I think there'll be enough light in here. I think. Yes, there's more than enough. And then, of course, the enchantment table is going to go right there where I've placed the nice placeholder block. Um, and the ceiling here, I guess we'll just put, like... Oh, so you, you can tell I used the slabs in here, so it's okay. We're just going to ignore that. We, we didn't use the slabs. And then... Hmm. We're going to actually have to modify it a little bit. I need my crafting table. There's one over here. The impromptu... Oh, I already had the stairs. Dang it. I always, I always end up trying to craft something I already have in my inventory. And it makes me feel stupid. Okay, and then we'll just put these up in here. And look at that. It looks a lot better if you add a little bit of... Well... You should probably do it all the way around if you're going to do it like this. You should put some stairs right there. Just so that you can see the lanterns a little bit better. You don't need them coming the other way. It's fine like that. Okay, so let's go and let's check on the cows. We can just grab the wheat, put it right there in our inventory, and we can check and see if we're, if we're good or, no, or, or we're not good. I think we're going to be good, though. Let's see. It's nice to be able to just run in here now, isn't it? It's really nice and not be bombarded with 90 cows every time. Um... Yeah, I think that'll be enough to enchant. Again, I really don't know. I, I just I don't I don't want to like jump the gun here. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna breed these all. Um, I don't want to jump the gun and do it too soon or too late because if we do it too soon, uh, the big problem being, well, we have to wait on the cows to regenerate to breed quick enough again. So maybe we'll go through like one or two more cycles. I'll just do it off camera because I really don't want to make you guys wait anymore for the enchantment. We'll end the episode by getting a good enchant. And uh, finishing the enchantment table, which we've all been anxiously awaiting to finally get enchanting going again. And I think we're more than uh, overdue for that. Let's see. Did I miss any? Did I miss? Oh, God. <laughs> the whole horde comes towards me. They're like, yes, you missed me, 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 me. I don't think there's any more. Let's see. Oh, there was one right there. There was another. It's so hard to get them all. It really is. I just kind of walk around and hope I get them. Okay. I think that should be good. Even if I missed a few, so you know what, so be it. I can't really do anything else. Okay, quit quit surrounding me. See, they, they like to protect their babies. They surround their babies. All the babies get caught in the middle. Uh, but that's a lot of that's a lot of babies. See, they start to multiply really quickly once you get this uh, this big of an amount. So what I'm going to do, I'll just wait off camera AFK, and uh, I'll come back and uh, show you how many cows we end up with. All right, guys, I've cleaned up my inventory, and I think we're ready. I just did one final round of breeding, but look, look what we've achieved. Quite a bit of cows, right? <laughs> a little bit more than last time you saw. 
a little bit of time has passed. Um, but yeah, what we're going to do now is we're just going to, I think we're going to kill a few. So let's just, we'll start up, we'll start up here and we'll just kind of, I just need to leave at least like eight. I want to leave at least eight. I don't know how many we need to kill. Oh no. I keep saying oh no because I don't know if I'm killing the babies. I hope I'm not. But it's like I'm, oh, I just killed the sheep. Oh, whatever. We only had one sheep. It would, it was it was pointless anyways. We couldn't have bred the sheep. Maybe we'll be able to trade like 16 diamonds for two sheep spawn eggs, something like that. Because there's no other way to get sheep down here. Um, I've tried to research it. There's there's no way. I mean, we could technically find maybe a cave entrance that had a sheep wandering in it. Other than that, it's pretty much impossible. So how much leather and stuff do we have? 53 leather. I don't know if that's enough. We're just gonna we're gonna get a little bit more and then we'll call it a day. All right. How much more do we need? Oh my god! So many cows, dude. There's so many cows. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. I think that should be enough. Yeah. I'm thinking. Well, a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit. Okay. Everyone's just sprinting around like, oh my god, there's a madman in here with a sword. <laughs> They're all just running around like, okay, there's a bunch of stuff on the ground I cannot miss. I can't kill them and not get all their stuff. That would be completely pointless. Okay, there we go. So I think that's everything. Um, we have 64 and 25. Looks good to me. All right, let's go. let's go finish this. Finally, after all this time, we're going to have an enchantment table. It's been a long time coming, and I'm very excited to get it done. Let's grab some sugar cane. Let's grab some obsidian. Let's grab a diamond. And I think that's everything we need. Uh, beside from some wood, which, oh, man. We may have enough. We may not have enough. I don't know. Um, I hope we have enough, but we'll just, we'll just kind of play it by ear. So is, is that how you make the paper? Yes. Okay. So we'll do... That much paper to start with, and then I think we need to make the books like this, okay. 32 books, that's not enough. 62 books, that may be enough. Let's go ahead and make this first. I think it's one here, and then a diamond, and a diamond. Wait, is it two diamonds? I don't know. We'll just, we'll grab two. I think it's, it's either two or one. I really don't know. I think it's this, this, and then a book, and then the obsidian. Okay, enchanting table, nice. And now we just gotta make a bunch of paper so we can make enough books so that we can, I, and if I make too many bookshelves, that's okay. It's better than not having enough. That's all the leather we have. Let's hope this is enough books. Yeah, it is enough books. But we're not gonna have nearly enough wood. That's the only, I love how that's the thing that's holding us back is wood. <laughs> of all the materials to hold us back, it's gotta be wood, really? Okay, well, here's to hoping I planted the trees back last time I mined them all. Because if I didn't, then I'm going to have to wait a little bit. But that's okay. If I got to wait, so be it. If I got to wait, so be it. It's not that big of a deal. I would just be slightly disappointed if I had to, but... Uh, those are there. There we go. Enderman's been down here. Good news. And yes, it looks like I did plant them back from what I can see. Oh, yeah. I planted the, I'm planted them all back. Oh, man. Okay, so I don't need that much wood, but I'm, I'm just going to gather a little bit here, and then we'll call it good, because there's going to be some big old trees here that will take 10 or 15 minutes for me to get all of them down, so we're not going to worry about those for now. We're just going to gather the basic wood material. How much? I don't know. Um, but if I start getting into it and I start cutting all the trees, it, it, it really will take like 10 or 15 minutes just to cut them down, which is fine. I, it's kind of a methodical, like relaxing thing, but not too fun to watch on YouTube, I don't think. Not too fun at all. Okay. We'll take that amount of wood. I think that should be enough. Um, yeah, this this whole tree is just giant, guys. You, do, you don't want to know, okay? It's just, it's, it's, it's a mess. But it gets us a lot of wood. We're just not going to worry about it. I think that should be more than enough. Okay, I'll meet you guys back at the crafting table. I like how this is all we have. I know, I just said I meet you at the crafting table. And like two feet later, I come back. But look, this is all we have of our sheep. This is so sad. It's like literally all we have left of our sheep. Our poor, poor sheep. Uh, I feel like we should do something special for it. We'll just put it in here for now and we'll we'll figure something out for it eventually. Because I definitely want to give it some sort of proper memorial. Something like that. Um, as much as we can. 
Okay, so that looks like that's all the bookshelves we can make, which is perfectly enough, more than we need, in fact. Um, we're gonna need some lapis and a chest. So, do we have any chests in our wood chest? Oh my god, we have 41. How? When did we get 41? I'm not gonna question it. Uh, we'll bring, okay, we already have a crafting table. We'll bring, yeah, we don't need a crafting table. We'll bring some trap doors, maybe. I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff I want to try in here. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything besides lapis. Because we don't really... We'll just take the 26 blocks, because that's all we use lapis for anyways. Alright, let's go up here. The big final finale of this episode. I do not like that there. We'll have to we'll have to figure something out there. Um, I think what we're going to do, actually, is this is the block right above it, correct? Correct? Yes. So we're going to break out all three of those blocks. And then we're going to take some stairs, and we're going to put them right there. Hold on. Just give me a second. I promise you it'll be worth the wait. It'll look beautiful. That's not even. I don't think at all. Yeah, there's a two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Now it'll be even. So now you can see the cave up there, which is interesting. Now we're going to take some stairs, which we have all this stuff here. And we have a crafting table, which I did remember to bring. We're going to throw that down there. Uh, we'll throw the chest down over here, because why not? Uh, we'll take the trap doors and we'll fancy up the chest just to make it look... I don't know. Fancy. And we'll do the same for the... Oh, we'll do the same for this guy. I'm gonna make everything look good, guys. Um, and then we can put our lapis in here. We don't... We need a few of it out. Oh, we need a few of it. You could hear a piston just went off, which is good. And take a few of it out right there. That actually was perfect. Uh, we'll keep a little bit in our inventory because we're about to use it. I'm trying to make sure my... my I know my inventory is just abysmal. It's, it's abysmal right now. It's messed up. Um, back to what I was doing. We're gonna make some stairs here. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. That's not enough. We're just gonna make a fat bed of stairs and call it good. All right. So now we're gonna go in the corners like this. We're just gonna do all that. There we go. Looks good. Oh no. You know what? We're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna we're we're gonna do it like that. Cause you know what? I got no chill with my resources here. And then we can just put all this stuff up here as wood, and then we can hang some lanterns down from up here, or whatever, it really doesn't matter. And I like how I said that, but that's actually not going to work for me. Um, it's not going to work at all. I wanted, to, I want to put bookshelves up here, like right where I just put those down, but I understand that's like a big waste of resources, but wouldn't that look really cool? I mean, it looked cool, but it, it, would, it really would be a huge waste. Um, but sometimes, oh man, I'm already out of wood again? Ugh. Well, I guess I didn't get that much wood, to be fair, but... Oh, what is going on with these blocks? Give me. Give me, give me. Quit glitching out. Uh, we'll just put half slabs up here. We'll put a torch now. I don't know if you can see. Um, we'll put put some slabs up here. And I'm basically just going to put some lanterns up in here. Something like that. Or some glowstone. Ooh, or some glowstone. Yeah. We're going to grab some glowstone real quick. I know I keep changing all these things, but I want it to look really good. Oh, we don't have that much. Okay. Well, let's just make... That's 10 pieces. That's more than enough. Let me let me organize. Hold on. Much better. That looks much, much better. It's much cleaner. I did forget one piece of stone. We're just going to forget about it. Also, I think in the misc... No, we're going to keep the book with us. We're going to keep the book with us. Okay, so now that we have this, we're just going to plop the glowstone down up here. There we go. That looks nice. Um, I did forget the fact that we have to put the books down. Uh, where is this? I see an item right here. Okay. It just was, it's just flopping around all weird. Uh, what I'm going to do, because these are very important, the corner ones. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm trying to see, I'm foreseeing a problem in my head that potentially is a problem. No, actually, it's perfect. Okay. And then, oh, wait. Wait, wait, <laughs> well, Now, hold up. Hold up here. Dang it. If I break this, it's going to give me, does it give me all the books back? This should give me, it doesn't give you all the books. Oh, yeah, it does, actually. Okay. Um, so yeah, we can do it like that, and then we don't have to have them all even, that's the thing, but I want to make it, I want to make it look good, I don't think that's a full 30 though, oh it is? Really? That's a full 30 already? No way, that's, wait, so that's 5 on each side, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, no, it's 4, 8, 12, that's 16 bookshelves, okay, and then these do not do anything, they actually do not count whatsoever, um, so I could have put bookshelves up there, but you know what? Actually, I can actually fit some bookshelves up here. You're probably wondering, Neo, what in the heck are you doing, dude? You know what? You just wait, guys. You just wait. Look at that. And see how it blends in with the bottom? I think it looks pretty pretty cool. I don't know. 
I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. I'm curious. We could put some... We could put a trap door on the bottom. Yeah? Yeah, that looks cool. Uh, kind of. <laughs> I don't know. It's debatable. It's debatable, guys. What, what if we did it like that? Would that would that look any better or any worse? We'll, we'll look at it. Look at it from the back. I think that looks cool. And on the inside, maybe we should do it on all four sides. We actually have exactly enough trapdoors. Yeah, that's really cool, actually. It would be better if we had more bookshelves to fill in, but you know what? For now, we're just going to call it good. I think that looks pretty awesome. Um, and then we can do something like this as well. I don't know if that blocks them, though. That's the thing. I'm making it look all fancy and stuff, but does this make it non-30? No, it actually works just fine. Dude, nice. I don't know if those are good or not. I think they look fine. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think if I put a solid block there and did the fence all the way up. No, I think we're just going to leave it like that for now. Okay. Uh, let's do our full, our first enchantment. We're going to see what we get. We're just, we're just going to go straight for it. Efficiency 4, Unbreaking 3. I'm not mad about it, but I was really hoping for fortune. So we're going to go and we're going to enchant another diamond pickaxe. We have a lot of diamonds. Um, how much did that take of my... I think we may be able to do two more. I don't know. I'll make two more, and you know what? I won't be upset if we don't get to enchant them both, but... Oh, gosh. Okay. This is this is always the most, like... Uh, okay, we're going to throw it in, we're going to throw it in, we just click. That is the exact same... No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's just the exact same thing just flipped. <laughs> Oh, well, that's okay. Can't you get unbreak? No, there's no unbreaking four. We could get efficiency five, though, but that would be pointless to combine to get that. And we still have 31 levels, so we can actually do it again. <sighs> okay, we're going to go again. Please don't do the same thing. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's the same thing, but with silk touch. Oh, okay, okay. I see how, I see how you do. We're going to do one of the... No, not protection two. We don't want that. Okay, wait. can you leave the... Lap is in there. No, it's like no, you can't. You don't don't leave that crap in here. Okay, so we have some good pickaxes, um, but the problem is, is they're all they're all just the same. I mean, they're the same thing. Just one has silk touch. I mean, I'm not complaining. Those are very good. Efficiency four and breaking three is like not a bad enchant at all. Um, it's just that I was I was hoping for fortune, but it's okay. I'm sure on on our way mining to the skeleton spawner. Uh, we will very well find some more diamonds. We'll go down there for a second. Uh, which one of these is the silk touch one? I, I don't really want to use that one. We'll use that one to mine the diamond and wait until we get fortune. Because we're, we're at 28 levels, right? Like, I mean, we don't have to ma make that much more progress in our ex experience levels to be able to enchant. So I'm not too worried. But let's go check out how fast this is. Compared to, uh, we'll, we'll just, we'll, we'll play pretend for a second. Yeah. Life sucks. Everything's terrible. Until you get out your diamond pickaxe. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That was cringy, but that dude, this thing is so fast. Oh, oh. <laughs> of course, the second I get down here to test it, it's like, hey, you, you know what we're going to do? We're going to break your shovel. You know what? I'm going to break this stuff by hand because I'm gritty. I'm, I'm nitty and I'm gritty, so I'm just going to... Just gonna do it like that. I shouldn't be using that one. I should just use one. I don't know what I'm thinking. I hate gravel. I hope I hope you guys know that. I, I hate gravel with all my heart. It just it ruins days. Look what I just did for you guys. I mined all the gravel by hand. But let's just let's just try this out a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, that's so much better. Like that's so, I cannot explain to you how happy that makes me. Especially after doing all these huge projects underground, I've really missed having a quick pickaxe. Oh my god, I can't wait to get netherite. I, I think netherite may be a little bit faster. I don't remember. I know I know it has more durability, um, and it's more enchantable, uh, which is good, but not as enchantable as gold. But it is more enchantable than diamond, which is exciting. I'm just super excited to get netherite, and we'll go there and we'll we'll mine for it eventually. Uh, just let me let me worry about getting mending first because I do not want to find netherite and get a netherite tool and it not have mending on it. It's like a requirement. Before I find mending it, or before I find netherite, it ha oh well, hey, well, I told you guys more than likely we're gonna find some diamonds. Uh, we'll mine that with our silk touch, our silk touch pickaxe. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that! Isn't, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? So we got a little five diamonds. You know, I, 
it's not a big deal, guys. You know, it's just everyday thing, you know, with the Neo Cubus. So, you know. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode, first of all, it's been a long one. So thank you for sticking around for the whole thing. I hope to see you on tomorrow's episode. And if uh, you don't want to miss it, then subscribe and turn on post notifications. But... Uh, you can always just check on my channel. You don't have to do that, of course. It's up to you. But if you'd like to turn on post notifications, I really would appreciate it. All it does is help you uh, find videos a little bit quicker. And if if that's something that interests you, then uh, I'm all for it. This has been bothering me since it's since it's been here. I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but we I, I've got to do something about this. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why it's just been bothering me so bad, um, and I don't think it was necessary for it to bother me. But that is a lot better. Yes. Uh, but playing, thank you guys for watching. I really do hope you guys turn on post notifications if you're new to the channel. If you're not new to the channel, then if you could leave a like on this video, I would very much so appreciate it. Of course, you do not have to. But if you'd like to, I really, sorry, I, had to burp. I really would appreciate it, guys. I'm debating on putting some diamonds up in here. I could put all the diamonds in here if I wanted to, just to make the thumbnail look extra juicy. I'm kidding. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but we will keep these diamond doors. Oh, we will keep these diamond doors. Mm. I'm trying to think of a safe place for them where Enderman will not get to them. Uh, probably like in here. I think this is a there's a nice big blank space over here. So we'll just kind of collect diamond ores and we'll just place them over here as we get them. And then we'll mine them all in one big go. It's going to be really fun. Uh, but yes, seriously, if you guys do not have post notifications on and that's bothering me again. Okay, we I got to figure this out. Maybe if I do the stair like that. Is that any better? I mean, yeah. It's just because now I can't hit it from the side. Yeah, I can. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, if you don't have post notifications, I, I've, I've said that like 80 times. You guys are playing, dude, shut up. But if you would leave a like on the video, I'd really appreciate it. I won't ask for any number of like likes like, specifically, but just know that each and every like you choose to give me uh, would be much appreciated. So I really would appreciate um, any and all support in the videos. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Bye.